Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I DNA sex my Rosy Bork parakeets. Now, I can't visually sex them as they are babies right now. They're about 16 weeks old and it's very important to me and it should be important to you to know if your bird is a male or a female especially if you can't tell the difference between the males and females. Some birds you can, some birds you can tell the difference when they're older, when they're mature, and some birds you just, you just can't tell the difference. Like budgies are easy, you can tell by their sear, but not the rosy borks. Now because these are a mutation, they're not the normal color, they're a little bit more difficult to tell if they are male or female. Now you can possibly tell by their by their actions like when they're older the male will do like the mating dance and the female will do the same you know the male will court the female but sometimes males court males so it's kind of hard to tell I mean obviously if the female lays an egg later in life you know it, it's a female but it's very important to know if you have a male or a female especially if they get sick because the female they can get egg binding issues which means the egg is stuck in the oviducts and that way the vet can rule out you know, if it's a male, that is not going to be an egg problem. If it's a female, you know, it's a different course of action how they have to treat the female if they are egg bound because they lay at the bottom of the cage, you know, they're sick. So that's where it's very, very important to know, especially if you have a female. I always want to know if I have a female because they always, not always, but mostly have problems, you know, with the egg egg laying issue, especially if you only have the one bird, they still lay eggs, they won't be fertile, but they'll still try because it's just the way the birds are, they want to lay eggs. So if you've already gotten your bird and you've had a DNA test, you probably didn't even watch the vet do the DNA test, most vets will take them in the other room and do the test, either do it by blood or do it by feathers. Now um, that's what I want to show you. And I'm doing it the same way that a vet would. I've had, you know, a lot of uh, experience in doing this. So I don't recommend you to go get your bird and go do a DNA test, especially if you don't know how to cut nails, because I'm going to take the blood from the nail. And if you've never handled your bird, or if you've never done anything with your bird, don't just go take them and, and do this. I'm just showing you so you know uh, how it happens at the veterinary clinic. And if you're learning, of course, it's a, it's a very good learning uh, video. So you'll know what goes on with the DNA test. Now this cage, and don't worry, it's not their cage they live in. I do have other videos. I have lots of videos. You can see my bird room. They're in a flight cage. They're free flight all day in my bird room. This cage, I just put them in there because I brought them down to my grooming room. So this is just the carrier cage that I brought into the grooming room. And uh, these babies, I'm not sure if I said it already, but they're about 16 weeks old. And I really want to know if they're male or female. I have two of the babies, so I'm going to do four babies. And because I'm probably going to keep two of them, possibly a male or female. And if I have to rehome the other two, at least I'll know what they are. Because some people would like a male, some people would like a female. And that way I know it's not a guessing game. You know, if they, if they took a bird and they wanted a male, it's a female. Who knows? you know, where that bird will end up. They'll sell that one, I won't know, you know, where they go. So it's best to know if they're male or female, especially if you're going to have babies and you're going to rehome your babies. That way you can tell the new owner, this is a male, this is a female. All right, so I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you how I DNA test my birds. Now the company I use is called Health Gene. Now this video is not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just showing you what I use. There are other companies. You can just Google that in your area and see if they DNA uh, birds. You can order. You go online. You find their company and they give you the kits for free which are in here. Oh, let's just take everything out. There. This is the return envelope. So when you send them back you would just put them in this envelope or you can put them in your own envelope with the correct address. And these are the actual kits. They're all individual. These are for individual birds. One test per envelope. I'll get into that in a second. And then it'll come with this information sheet. These are the instructions. This is how to take the, the blood from the nail and this is how to do feather collection. There is a feather collection. You have to pluck some feathers from the chest making sure that uh, the feather tip is there. It'll be yellow in, or not yellow, white coloration. You can't use molted feathers. You have to pull them out because that's how they get the DNA from the, from the tip. 
And then there's a, a process here. You put them in a Ziploc bag and you send them off and make sure you label the bag. So I'm going to be doing the blood collection today, which is from the bird's nails. So basically this tells you how to do it, which I'll be doing as I do the test. I will show you how that works. And then on this side, you uh, have to fill out your name, if you have a company name, if you have an Avery name, it's up to you. You don't have to do both. You can do one, your address, you know, any information about yourself. If you want the report sent back by phone or email or both, you fill that out. And if this is uh, in a veterinary clinic, this is what the veterinary clinic will fill out. They'll fill out that and the same, you know, you can do fax or other whatever. So they do do different kind of um, DNA tests there for birds. This is the avian DNA section. So the code for that is A101. Now it might be different with the different companies. So just make sure you look for the right code because you have to circle it right here. So when you fill out your bird's information, so it says bird ID. And what I put here is the band number. That's why I ban my birds, so I can easily DNA them as well. I can tell them apart. But if you don't have a band on your bird, you can just write down the color. If you have a group of birds, like say you have a lot of baby birds and they're all the same, like you have four baby borks or any other breed, just uh, find some kind of identification mark and you can write down, you know, say it's a rosy bork, rosy bork with yellow on the um, left wing or right wing or blue rump, green rump. So you know, because if you just write down pink bork and you do four tests, you won't know which bird is which. So you have to make sure you can identify each bird and label it as you, you know, want to label so you'll understand when the test comes back. So, um, you know, if you have, say, four blue Indian ringnecks and they all look the same. What some people do is you can clip a little bit of their flight feather. Like just clip one one bird on the right side and then the other bird on the left side and then say the third bird you can cut the second feather down, make a little notch. So you just have to identify them and in a way that you will understand. And the species will go, so I'm going to put uh, rosy bork parakeets, the owner which will be me or if you're getting the bird and you're doing the DNA test and you're paying for it yourself through the breeder, you can have your name written down there or you can write your Avery name if you have an Avery. And see there's the A101 and that's for the avian DNA section. So see all these circles? I would have to check that one off because that's what I'm doing is a DNA section. So they do other stuff here for birds all these other tests. So for the DNA section, that's the code, and that's the code you're gonna mark off. So you have to do this for each bird. So I got four birds, one, two, three, four. So I'll fill all four of those out. All right, so this is the envelope. This is that the actual test, and this is free. When you order it, they'll send you these cards for free. And then when you do all your tests, you just send them the money and they'll do your test. So when I open it, I open it and I touch the middle because if you could see, these two areas here is where the blood is going to go. So you really don't want to touch that. You don't want to put your DNA or germ germs in there, right? And so then you're going to write the ID again. So I'm going to write the band number or the coloration of the bird, the species, which is the Bork parakeet and owner. I can write my name or if I have an Avery name, whatever name you have, or if this is going to an owner, you can write their name on there. And um, it just has their information on here, their website, their phone number, and the name of the company. All right, and once your bird is DNA'd, you'll get this nice certificate, this certificate of reg registration. That way you, you have it and you have it handy to prove that you got the test and what, what the bird is. So this is just one of my previous birds that I used to have. And I got the, the DNA certificate. There's a number on them. And then it'll say the bird ID, which uh, my bird had a, a band at the time. My Kakaraki, sadly, he passed away. And owner, my name, I just kind of blanked it out. I'm not ready to say my whole name yet. And, you know, they sign it and then it says what test you got, which is the A101. And then the avian DNA section. And it says registered with the House Gene DNA Bank. And the results were a male and the date. So this was the date that they did the test. So you will be getting this nice certificate, which is really nice. You can have, keep that with your bird. You can hang it on the wall or put it in a, you know, like a binder, 
or whatever you like to do with it. And it's really nice. And that way you can show what bird you have and proof that the bird is yours as well. If you ever lose your bird and has a band, you've got the proof uh, right here. So I really like these certificates. They're, they're very, very nice. All right, so these are the tools I'm gonna be using to do my DNA test. I have these nail clippers. This is the bird nail clipper. You can see the small opening there to put the nail inside. Or this one as well is fine. I think you can cut uh, probably yeah, cat's nails with this as well. So there's a smaller one and a bigger one. Sometimes I want it sharper than the other, so I want the sharpest one I can find. And then I always have quick stop on hand. This stops the bleeding because the nail will bleed. It'll be bleed just a little bit. And then I just clot this on the end of the nail and all is good. And also alcohol. You need to uh, clean the nail, clean the clippers, especially if you're doing multiple birds. I use these wipes, alcohol wipes, because I find it easier. Or you can use the alcohol in the bottle and use like a cotton ball just to clean it off. But the wipes are like great. You can just use one, you know, per bird. So every time I do a DNA test, I'm going to be doing four birds. I'll do one DNA test because, you know, if there's blood in here and you do, you don't wipe it off and then you do the next DNA, that blood's going to get mixed up with that blood and you might get the wrong results. So you gotta make sure everything is super clean, right? Because you are, or I am, <laughs> going to make the nail bleed. So you wanna make sure it's clean, not to cause any infection. So I'm just gonna explain how I will do the DNA test and so I don't have to go all through it while I'm actually doing the DNA test. And so once I've filled out the cards with the ID, and the species and all that. I wipe the bird's nail with alcohol swab and, and I'm gonna wipe the uh, nail clippers as well and let it dry for five to 10 seconds. And then I clip the nail just below the quick. You don't wanna cut the nail too short or in the middle of the quick. You wanna cut the end just to the quick just so you can get a bead of blood because if you cut it shorter, it's gonna be, you know, bleed a lot and be painful. If you just cut it right to the end of the quick, it will bleed and um, See here it says ensure that the toenail clipper is thoroughly cleaned with alcohol between birds because if you don't want to mix up the blood in one in one card otherwise they can't read it properly. So I'm going to allow a small amount of blood to beat up and carefully touch the corner of the card right here. So I'm going to put it on both sides. Still a couple drops on the left side, a couple drops on the right side. And then I let the card dry for 20 minutes. I put it back in the envelope and then I send it back in the mail, make sure you know everything is filled out properly and I gotta pay, so it's $15 each, plus here in Canada we play 13% HST and I believe they take Visa or you can write a check. So I am going to go get one of the baby borks. All right, so I got my baby bird. I'm wiping his nails with the alcohol wipe and I've cleaned the clippers. I filled out his card to make sure the band, I checked his band, which he's band number 1891. And I've put it on the card here. Now, um, when I hold my birds, you never put pressure on the chest, as they don't have a diaphragm. If you hold their chest, they can't breathe and they can die. So I have my forefinger, and I uh, can't remember what finger this is called, but anyway, my two fingers between, the, on his cheeks here, just holding him still. And what I'm gonna do, is use my thumb and my other fingers just to hold the nail out. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a little teeny weeny weeny bit. Oh, that could be it. I don't want the blood going anywhere else. So I gotta make sure he's in my hand pretty good. So yes, see a little bit of blood, so it's not much. What I'm doing is just gently squeezing his toe Oh, I don't want to actually touch the blood, but it's... So I'm just touching the card like this, and if it's not enough to come out, it's not enough. I just hit the very, very edge. So what I'm going to do is just lightly, 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 lightly clip it. Lightly clip it. All right, so hopefully that'll do. Still not working. Don't you have any blood? Come here, sweetie. Let me just try to, oh, there we go. Okay, holding in the wrong spot. All right, so there we go. And don't worry, he's not gonna bleed to death and he's still gonna love me after I've DNA'd all my birds and you don't lose their trust. I mean, 
you know, they get over it, right? The word might be a little bit puffy afterwards. So I'm just putting in enough because just in case, I know they only need one or two drops, but I just want to make sure there's enough. So I'm just going to put that aside, let it dry. Then, oh no, no, sweetie pie, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. And then what I do is get my quick stop. I could have used a Q-tip actually, now it's all on my nails. <laughs> oh well, it's okay, I don't care, it's for my birds. So I'm just gonna stick that on the end. I mean, it stops right away because you're just hitting the very, very tip. I mean, even when vets cut the bird's nails, sometimes they bleed and it's not a big deal. So, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, really serious or anything like that for them. And sometimes you can hold it for a couple seconds. And that's it. There we go. So I DNA'd number... 1891. I have a feeling this one is a male, so 1891 is a male. We'll see when the results come back. You can guess too. You can have a look at it. I don't want him to fly away because he needs to go in the cage just to rest a little bit. I think this one will be a male. Well, we'll see. All right here's baby number two. Just cleaning off the nail. I've cleaned the nail clippers so we don't cross-contaminate the blood. And I've filled out the card. So I'm just going to cut a little bit again. Good birdie. It's okay, it's okay, okay, that might do it. Just want to pull the foot closer to me so I can hold the toe. All right. I think it's going to come out. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. All right, so it says one or two drops. But I'd like to be sure. There we go. So that's baby number two. I have a feeling this one is a hmm, female. So 19, 1892 I think is a female. We'll see. So now I just got to get the uh, dropping the, the quick stop there. There we go. All right, so there you go. Oh, don't you fly away. There. This one's okay. There we go, buddy. You're all right. Hey, you still love me? Yeah, you still love me. So we're going to know. I'm going to mail them off tomorrow. And hopefully I'll know by uh, next week. Usually it takes about a week or sooner. All right, so the results, they will show up by email or they will phone me or I'll just get their certificates in the mail. But usually they do send an email before they send you that certificates because their certificates take a while because it's a mail, mail takes a while. Email's quicker. So if I send them today, uh, today is, what's the date today? Tuesday? Hopefully I'll get them by the end of the week. That would be nice. And so uh, we'll see what which each um, sex the baby birds are. So here's my other two babies. So I DNA'd them too. I just didn't show them otherwise the video would be really long. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you got any questions, just ask me down below in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and um, make sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.